everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another tutorial for Ophelia Talks for my crochet um, series. So, in the previous uh, tutorial, we made a magic circle. Now, there is another way of doing that if you didn't quite manage the magic circle. Um, so, let's see if we can do that. Now, slip knot. This is what we need now. So, we're going to roll it around our fingers like that. Take this one, put it there. Take this one, put it there. Take this one and pull, and you've got a slip knot. Okay? I think so anyway. Yes. Okay. So that's your slip knot. You insert the hook and make it tight. You pick up your yarn like this, hold on to this, and we're going to chain. So chain one. That's a bit loose. Chain two, three, four. Now your pattern might call for, uh, your instructions might call for four, five, six, seven, eight. It, you know, I'm just doing any now at the moment to show you. Okay, so we've got our chains. And then we're going to make a circle. So we'll need to insert our hook in the first chain so make sure you keep your it's not twisted first of all your your little chain and then insert it into both and then pick up your yarn pull it through oh i think i've got a little thread there yeah okay fine so that's made our circle see so now we have a magic circle but it's not a magic circle it's made up of uh, chains okay um, you might find this easier or not it depends I find both just the same right so and then into that you're going to work so generally you're going to work into here now we're going to work for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a single crochet so single crochet goes under picks up and pulls through two under pick up come out again pull through two under pick up out again pull through two under pick up And did anyone count how many chains I made earlier? <laughs> if only I'd counted them, then I knew how many I was going to do here because that would then tally up, you see. Generally, you have to do the same amount of uh, stitches, whatever uh, stitch it is that you're doing uh, as, as your chain, so it corresponds. I think I did about eight, so... I could go back and count, but that means stopping the video. <laughs> right, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's that's good enough for me. Okay, so now it's only a trial thing anyway. So, or only a, sh you know, to show you these, it's not going to be a, a proper pattern. I just want to show you the, this is a slip stitch, the stitches. Okay, so that was a slip stitch, just going in and pulling it through and pulling it through your loop. So that's now a circle of single crochets around our chain of eight, was it? Um, chain eight and we made it into a circle. So that's how you start a many projects. Then now I'm going to show you a half double crochet. So this one is a short stitch. Now we're going to do a half double crochet. That means First of all, I'm going to do two chains to bring up the height. So disregard that for learning your uh, stitch. This here, you yarn over. Did you see that? So you have your yarn and you go over. So you have a little loop on your hook. Then you go through your top two little things here of your chain, of your stitch. Pull through and then you have three things on your hook. Half double crochet means we're going to yarn over and pull through three. Same thing again. Yarn over, 
through the two lying wool this these two that's the top of your stitch so through that some patterns call for picking up the front or some for picking up the back but obviously we are picking up both because we want it nice and tight okay so yarn over and we pick up three same thing you go into your next stitch this one i used so this is the next one yarn over three pick up pull through three okay and so we continue yarn over and three pull through three and you know it looks it might look as if you haven't actually been into that stitch because there's a lot of stitch left here but it will all work out did i go into the same stitch look at that i went into the same stitch just now <laughs> okay so this one had already been done so let's get our and into there through pick up and three yarn over next stitch yarn over that one's done next stitch and into there see and if you're working like this i mean like i said it's just to show you the stitches do make sure you work a little bit looser here because you need that um the you know the amount of yarn basically to make your circle otherwise it'll be become a little you know like a bow uh, but like i said we're just doing this so i can show you the stitches and there we go so that's eight i think done and as you can tell my um circle here has become a little bit bigger that's okay you can pull it and it'll become a little bit small in most of your projects you'll be able to just pull it along and it'll become a little bit smaller if it's a magic circle it'll be easy to pull there goes my hook so then we need to find that top stitch here and slip stitch to close up our circle so we've now done um single crochet half double crochet and now we're going to sh i'm going to show you the double crochet so disregard this one right okay so double crochet yarn over into your stitch yarn over come out go through two come out and oh uh, pick up yarn and go through two so let me do that again i think i was off the camera off off uh, camera there so yarn over in through into the next stitch pick up the yarn pick up yarn there go through two and go through two so that again is taller than the previous one which is taller than the first one so this one is quite a tall stitch and that's why we needed three chains to work our way up there we go see yarn over go through pick up come out yarn go through two go through two and once you're in the rhythm it'll go quite quickly there we go see so we've got the three types of stitches that we will use in all our projects basically there are more but obviously this is just to get you started single crochet double crochet half double crochet and double crochet and they'll be used in various patterns and various amounts in one stitch uh, to make up the patterns for example like um, this one here these are all um, double crochets and then a single chain in between uh, these to make spaces for putting in the other uh, double lots of three double crochets so i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you again in the next thank you very much for watching bye